Hey sis, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you don't already know me, then hey, my name is Julia and I am a flight attendant. So today we're doing a sit down video and as you can see by the title, I'm going to be discussing with you guys five things that I wish I knew before becoming a flight attendant. Of course, before becoming a flight attendant, I did tons of research especially after I got my offer and I was going on to training. I was watching so many training vlogs, just general videos about becoming a flight attendant and all the things that came with the job. But nothing really prepares you for anything like actually experiencing it. Of course, you can hear all of the things from people and feel like you understand what it's like but until you're actually in that position you won't really truly know so i would say that before i became a flight attendant i definitely had a good wealth of knowledge about the job but i still learn things every day and i'm still adapting to the position the first thing that i wish i knew before becoming a flight attendant is that the money is slim now of course all the flight attendant content creators talk about how money is low in the beginning of your flight attendant career but you don't like i said you don't know until you know like if you think that you're going to come into this job and work the minimum like guaranteed hours you have another thing coming you might as well forget about it you're not going to be able to support yourself if you are supporting yourself if you are living on your own paying your own bills it's not happening on the minimum guarantee starting out pay for a flight attendant it's just not so i personally work over 120 hours each month and our minimum guarantee is 72 hours so that lets you know right there how many more hours you have to work to be able to comfortably support yourself I feel like if I didn't have such bad money management practices, then I would be able to comfortably support myself with the amount of money that I make each month. But because I have some bad habits with money, I am struggling a little bit more. But everybody, honestly, for the most part, struggles in the first. People are saying like, five years at five years it gets better i'm hoping that once i make one year things start getting a little bit better and of course when we get our new contract things get much better so yeah girl you starting out in this job you have to budget in some way shape or form so i personally split up my money into different accounts and use those different accounts for different things for example i have money that i set aside for transportation each month and money that i set aside for food each month so i only use those accounts for say transportation or food so i can kind of keep track of how much i'm spending on those specific things each month like i'm really telling y'all the money in the beginning who it is it is a test it really is and especially if you have to move to a new state or if you have to commute and when you're in the state that you are working out of and you don't have your car um, and you are paying rent in another state, but you have to get a crash pad in the state that you work in. It's really taxing. It's really costly. It really can be costly. So please take into consideration all of the things when you are thinking about this career. It is a complete lifestyle change. Seriously. Like you have to think about all the things you have to plan you have to budget like it's not for the faint of heart like i'm i'm trying to tell y'all this job is not for the faint of heart like there's been times i'm i'm still i'm still in hard times right now with this career so there's times where i have breakdowns where i'm just like 
I don't know if I can do this, I might get myself a regular job. <laughs> but at the end of the day, I don't see myself doing any other job. I do ultimately enjoy this job, but it definitely will try you. I'm telling you right now. So the second thing that I wish I knew before becoming a flight attendant is that the job is taxing on your body, okay? This job will have you in your 20s, like my back hurts, my body hurts, my bones are sore. Like this job is taxing, especially with my company. If you are the sea flight attendant, you have to clean the plane and cross seat belts, and you're like bent over in the seats doing the seat belts, and it literally hurts. <laughs> like it hurts after a while it really does and after trips once you get home from trips you're like gone like you need the day to like recoup i don't know how people get off of work or get back from a trip and go run errands like i need to recoup i need like a three to five hour nap <laughs> before I feel like myself again. After trips, it doesn't matter how long the trip is. It could be a turn, it could be two day, three day, it don't matter. You come back from that trip and you're gone, like dead to the world. So yeah, I definitely recommend with this job, staying active, going for walks, making sure you consistently work out, do some type of movement so that, you know, your body, stays ready. <laughs> so the third thing that I wish I knew, which I kind of knew, but again, you need to experience it to understand. And that thing is that the job definitely gets lonely at times. Now, I am one of those introverted people. I love being by myself. I love my alone time. I don't really feel comfortable around a bunch of people. I don't really enjoy being around a bunch of people. And if I am, it takes a lot of energy out of me to be around a bunch of people. And that might also be why I'm like gone to the world once I get back from a trip. When I'm around a bunch of people and I have to present and, you know, be bubbly and talkative, it definitely drains my social battery. So yeah, I don't have a problem with being by myself and spending time alone. But even this job makes me feel lonely at times. When you're in the hotel rooms, you're by yourself. When you go and do little fun activities while you're on your layovers, most of the time you're by yourself or most of the time I'm by myself. You will come across amazing crews and have amazing experiences with your crew, which is a plus and a perk of this job. But for the most part, I would say that I do things by myself. Now that might just be me being me, but you're going to spend a lot of time alone. So understand that and know that you're not going to get to spend the amount of time that you may spend with your friends and family now and maybe before you go to training start spending time by yourself and doing little things by yourself here and there so that you can become more acclimated to the lifestyle when it actually becomes your life um, and even besides the obvious you working in different states and laying over in different states so you are away from your friends and family, another way that the job can be lonely is your schedule is not going to be the same as a regular nine to five worker who works nine to five Monday through Friday and they have the weekends off. That's just not going to be, <laughs> that's not going to be how it goes. You might have off on a Tuesday. Now your friends and your family are all at work and you can't hang out with them or you have to work a trip on Friday and Saturday and you are missing out on a loved one's birthday party or event and it just can 
feel really lonely and taxing on you emotionally. So again, know that things are about to change and try to prepare yourself as much as possible. So these next two things are more on the positive side. I know I started out with the more negative things, but there are positives to this job, obviously, or thousands of people wouldn't be doing and loving this job. So the fourth thing I wish I knew before becoming a flight attendant is that the freedom is amazing, okay? amazing especially with my company i don't specifically know about all the other companies but with my company i could literally take off for a month and nobody would come looking for me like i would be fine and after that month i would still have my job of course there's a lot of strategic like planning and maneuvering that goes in to doing that but it's possible if you have a side hustle you can do that if you own a business you can do that as well as doing this job and i think that is truly amazing with my company specifically we can like move our reserve days we can swap our reserve days it's literally insane i can't believe that we have some of the benefits that we do but the job is so freaking flexible if you don't have vacation which since we graduated at the end of the year we only got one day of vacation for this year it's still not a problem you can make your own vacation you can get a week off and go on a trip so like i don't know what other job allows you that type of freedom so it's definitely really good if you want to branch out and like start a business or build something outside of work you can definitely do that with this job and i freaking love that about being a flight attendant if you need to just take a break like i just need three days i just need three days let me take a quick little fun little trip you can do that with this job and you don't have to put in any pto or like alert anybody just work your schedule to benefit you and you can go ahead and take that trip the fifth and final thing that i wish i knew before becoming a flight attendant is that ultimately the job is easy the job is pretty much 98 percent of the time i would say easy as long as no medicals happen on the plane as long as there are no rowdy customers and there's no delays <laughs> the job is an easy job to do literally after you get all the people on the plane do your safety demonstration you go to the back chill make sure everything is good safety wise once you get up in the air you do service, make sure everybody's good, and then you go to the back and chill. Of course, you're going to periodically go out in the cabin, check on your passengers, do trash and all of that. But in the middle of all of that, you literally get to chill in the back of the airplane. For the most part, I'll be in the back like busting it up with my crew members. You can read and you can work on things outside of the job again. If you are planning to start a business, like I said, if you are just wanting to do something outside of the job that you enjoy, you can work on that while at work, while on the clock. And again, I think that is so nice. Alrighty guys, so that is my five things that I wish I knew before becoming a flight attendant. So we had some negative things, we had some positive things, but like I said in the beginning of this video, ultimately, I really enjoy this job. Now, it definitely does challenge me and it tests me and it takes me to my limits sometimes but i still don't see myself doing any other job i really enjoy doing this job it really just fits for me it works for me so i'm happy where i am doing what i do so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed comment down below some things if you are a flight attendant some things that you wish you knew before becoming a flight attendant or if you agree with the things that i mentioned or if you have some other things that you want to add to the things that i said go ahead and comment them down below and thanks again so much for watching guys i will see you guys in my next one
Peace.